Howdy, howdy. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Anybody wants to watch a fat boy shovel? How about that? Let go. Let go. Housekeeping I can do real quick. I think that was still draining a little bit. Folks, oh, so we got all kinds of stuff to crush out here. There's some motorcycles I need to toss in. There's some uh, riding old riding lawn mowers I need to toss in. All right, let's see if we can get this hood. Chevy hood. I should be able to get it. Mm -hmm. 
Everything got a sweet spot. You just got to find it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slick. Metal to metal, slick. A lot of times, it don't even depend on how heavy it is. Oh, you got it so close. So close. It's so far away. We got it. I mean, I could have set it down and we could have tossed in that little piddly stuff down there, but we got time. We'll get a truck here in a little while. Sometimes we just leave a car in front of the crusher and the ground guy just takes a few minutes and picks stuff up and then he helps the driver. Dude. Yeah, me and Mario got a an hour early start this morning, so instead of reporting for duty at eight, we were re reported at um seven o'clock. Oh dark thirty. Well no thirty, just oh dark. exhaust filter wants to clean itself. What'd you find, Mario? A part? It's still in the package? Well, golly. Muffler fell off. Exhaust? Oh. That's my thing out here. We're running through this pasture and stuff, and he's like, look, man, it it's grown over, but you should, you'll be fine, you know. All right. We're too far away to have to call the tire guy. I just need to be quiet about that right now. <laughs> I just need to be quiet about that. We're going to be all right. We got good luck and good vibes. We'll be all right. I guess what I could do... Let's go ahead and wait on that Honda. Put it in the middle. It really don't matter. I mean, it would, like, you don't want to put a little Honda with a big old Suburban. These little deals, uh, they all go together. Drop the hammer. Got ourselves another round of that's your time car crushing. Oh, you drive a half hour on the highway, then you drive another half hour out in the country. I don't take three or four different CR county roads. All right. How many rats do y'all think are being evicted? Uh -huh. There's some critters got to find some new homes. Sorry. Uh oh. I'm at the. Y'all see that big old clump of dirt all over that different, you know, the caliper and all that deal right there on the end of the differential. That's probably ants. 
So it'll be do it'll do us all good to just bounce it as much as we can, get it up there. One time it was raining really hard. I mean, it was just pouring. And me and Mario, I, I changed out the ride. And the car's tripping, you know I mean? Boy, it's, you're getting wet even though you're under the car. And man, we didn't know it. Oh, golly. We didn't know it because of the raindrops, but these ants were falling all over me and Mario. Next thing you know, both of us are just, I look at him and he's got them all over his, him and they're all over me and golly I got tore up so did he well if they are ants we got to start up now Mario, mucho mira de tierra. Watchle, our amigas. Total coaches is for the sacate de tierra. Yeah, man. I told Mario, I said, all these cars are out there in the dirt and the grass. Watchle, you know, look out for ants. Hey, y'all want to see? That's something about Spanish that I, that you got to learn and work on. Okay, so, um, our amigas. That's how you say ants. Right. But that A on the end, like you got amigo, which is your dude, that's your that, that it's your buddy, and then you got amiga, which is a girl, same word, A and an O, different. And the O, the O is a connotation for like dude, like manly man. And the A, that's feminine. But when I think of our amigas, when I think of an ant, my brain kind of thinks it's, I really don't put it in any kind of connotation, whether it's male or female, but some people, like when they see a cat, they go, oh, she's so pretty, but when they see a dog, they automatically go, oh, he's a good looking dog, I don't know, when I think of ants, I would, I guess I would think more like a, like a dude, like a soldier ant, but I think they're all lady soldiers. I've been watching some of them insect documentaries they got on them, all these shows now. And I was watching this deal on these ants that every ant that's born is capable of leaving the colony and um, starting their own, you know, they're all, they're all, they all can reproduce. Now there are some ants, bees too, they're born sterile. They can't, they're just, that's it. Um, well, anyway, so every one of these colonies, females in this colony, can leave. But if they all do that, then they they won't have no workers. They won't have a colony. So they can tell when it's like breeding season or whatever for these ants. And what happens is the other ants convince her to stay. And how they convince her is they hold her down. There's like three or four ants that pin her down for like three or four days. And then the, you know, then the breeding cycle or whatever the time is gone, and the ant's like, you know what? I missed my shot. I guess I'll just stay here and clean the place up. Where's my apron? But I, there are other ants that come by, clean her, feed her, and take, you know, take care of them other guard duty ants, I guess you want to call them. Pretty freaking interesting. How much does that pay, by the way? Go out there and video tape and research ant behavior. Huh. Maybe I chose the wrong profession. It's pretty freaking interesting. Golly, listen to it break. Dang. Is it, is it iron cold this morning?
Got the differential yanked off. Uh, I can leave it here for now. I, the customer ain't out here yet. This, we, we got out here early. Whenever I see him, I just ask him what he wants to do with it. Oh, we got a dangler. It's all about the angle of the dangle. Yeah, I just set it up here, get Mario, lob it off. I cleaned that window yesterday. Anyway, I'll get Mario, lob it off, and then um, I'll see him later and just ask him what he wants to do with it. Mario, the Tijeras! Por favor. Hey, check that out. That's an old Mercedes motor. Door carburetors. Hey, look, look at that little bitty tiny transmission. Yeah, hey, look, the freaking fan is aluminum, like cast aluminum. Wow. Look at that. This place is awesome. I don't even think I've seen everything yet. Yeah, look at that. Look at that fan. That's like cast aluminum. That is freaking cool. Usually they're like metal blades. Anyway, we got to do some work. Oh, we're about to have some tire popper action right here. Ha ha! What? That was just lame. What we need to do is let him crush. That's what we need to do. I went through both of them. Lame. Let's let it crush some. Really squeeze that tire. There you go. That's car crushing right there. Get that door pushed in there. Looks like we got some pressure built up on that tire. Nothing. What? I was wanting to wake the neighbors up. What was that? Well, I feel just deflated. <laughs> I'm a dad. I'm 100% authorized bad jokes or dad jokes. I mean, 100% authorized. Come on, man, just spin around. 
quit being hard headed. Just spin around. There you go. It'll all be over real soon. Mario says, Stop. Oh man, tell me I didn't run something over. Dang, what's stuck in the tire? All right, just a chunk of plastic. Okay, you guys just don't even talk about it. Like, don't even just. What do they say? The power of manifestation. All right, let me pop. Focus cab down a little bit. Come on. Some of that John Deere on it. Should have cooperated and it wouldn't go like this. You want to be hard headed. Well, there's two of us and there's one of you. <laughs> Me and my buddy John Deere. There we go. Drive it home. said crush these motors but I'm gonna pull that um uh, I'm gonna pull that cooling fan off that that'll be a good wall hanger it's got some numbers on top of the valve cover you know how them Google phones work these days or you can just golly who tied that up who tied that up jeez please man hey por favor the sencha no it's listo Mario. I don't know who tied that up. Dang. It done fell off again. See, you had to get cute with it. You had to get cute with it. Waste everybody's time over a silly little motor going inside the crusher. Easy, easy, easy. Don't break it all the way off. You just want to get that fork under there. That cast iron, that cast will just snap. And you'd be finding another place to poke on it and pick it up. All right, Mario. Everybody doing all right? I hope so. Howdy, howdy. Good morning. Go ahead, man. Well, all right, folks. We did a little bit of crushing, a little bit of exploring. Uh-huh. We're crushing cars today. We're crushing cars today, folks. Squish it. Squish it! Thank you! 